Hey y'all, it's your girl Maria, and we are back with more reactions today. Okay, so Lucy Thomas came out with another one. She is doing A Thousand Years. This is a really great song. I think it's so romantic, and I think it's also um, perfect for a Valentine's Day song. Um, so you guys already know how I feel about Lucy. I think she is one of those you know, artists that is going to have a place somewhere in the entertainment industry. I feel like she is an elevated Barbara Streisand. I really do. I think that she is um, beautiful. I think that she has an incredible voice. I think that her voice can be suited for, um, you know, music by itself or on a stage like doing Broadway. We already know she's going to be coming out with Rosie if it hasn't already come out. Um, and I just think that her voice is fitting for these things. And she has this great um, range and this great soothing, you know, tone to her voice. So I'm looking forward to hearing this one. Um, and you guys already know if you want to show love and support to the artist and to myself, because you know you do. You know that you do. Let's not even kid ourselves, right? Remember, description box below. Make sure you check it out. I'll link ways for you to do that for both the artist and myself. So um, that being said, let's get started. and promises how to be brave how can I love when I'm afraid to fall watching you stand alone all of my doubt suddenly goes away somehow This is what I love about her voice. Because the original, and I think the original singer is, is it Christina Perry? Is that the name? Is that her name? I'm not sure. I know the song. I just don't remember the, the original artist. She had more of a very, like, thin, docile kind of voice. But her, you know, Lucy's voice is still very feminine, but it sounds a little bolder and it's still soft. It's still feminine. It's still everything that wants to bring you into the song, but it's hers. You know, she's making it her own because the tone and the way that she's interpreting it is a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Definite. Um, there, there's no shakiness to it. She's singing with purpose. Um, her voice sounds like she's singing with purpose. And I like that. I like that a lot because it's a different take on the song when you think about it. Um, instead of being the lovey-dovey, you know, um, thin, frail type of voice, it is a more bold, feminine, but nurturing voice. And I think that's, a great way to sing this song as well. And she's being very respectful to the arrangements. She's not changing anything except the tone of her voice. And it, that one little, little thing can really change the atmosphere of the song. And she's doing a great job with it. I, I like this a lot. Standing in front 
know if you guys can tell the difference there or not. I mean, she's still very much saying all the things um, and, and she ha is delivering it so much more matter of fact. Um, and I don't mean that in a bland or negative way. I do not. I mean, it's like she is very much sure of what it is she's saying. That's what I mean by that. And so um, I, I love this interpretation for so many different reasons because I feel like there's a lot of women out there that their personalities are like this. They're very matter of fact. They're very sure of their of themselves and their feelings. And they're not, and this, this is actually me too, if I'm being honest, they're not um, wanting to be the damsel in distress. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but it doesn't always get interpreted that way. And I feel like this is a great interpretation for those of us um, women who we are sure of ourselves um, when it comes to a relationship or what it is that we want or what we're trying to accomplish. We're sure of that. And we give ourselves, it, we have a little bit more confidence when we are sure of ourselves, but it doesn't always translate as something you know, feminine. And I think she's doing a great job and it sounds absolutely feminine. So I, like, I appreciate the way that she is interpreting this song and how beautiful the lyrics are to this song. I mean, everything about it is just like being sure of knowing that the person you're with is the one you want to be with. And, and that stance of being sure of that, it's very... I don't know, I just find it beautiful. I do, I find it very beautiful. I really like this. Um, I think she did such justice to this song. Um, and I appreciate like the tone that she used. I mean, to me, and, and you guys might have a different opinion, but to me, it really changed the atmosphere um, for the song for me. In like the type of person singing the song, like who who is really the person who's saying that I've loved you for a thousand years. And, and I feel like it's more of a personality thing, but, uh, you know, you guys might have a different interpretation. If you do, let me know in the comments, <laughs> but anyway, that is going to do it for this one. Um, another solid one from Lucy Thomas. Uh, but if you guys like the content, you know what to do, you know, you want to do it. I know, you know that you want to do it. 
Um, and it's in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know you want to do all of those things. But in the meantime, live your lives fabulously, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.